Hi, I'm Tim Way. I'm the uh, I'm a professor of mechanical aerospace and nuclear engineering here at uh, RPI, and I'm the uh, acting dean for the School of Engineering. The uh, problem we're working on is uh, how to make swimmers go faster at the uh, at the elite level. The first time we did the measurements, uh, our, our proof of concept, we went to the uh, uh, there was a flume at the uh, at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs, and uh, we did a set of flow measurements around uh, Beth Botsford, who was a hundred uh, gold medalist in the hundred meter backstroke. My first reaction was, wouldn't it be really cool if we can measure flow around a swimmer? Uh, and we applied uh, some of our laboratory flow measurement techniques, where you can actually measure flow around uh, an entire object. And so we we looked specifically at breaststroke kick. We looked at uh, freestyle and backstroke, the, the, the arm stroke, what they call the pull. And um, we actually looked at some body position on, uh, on, on breaststroke. We're collecting data that, that nobody's ever really looked at before. So, so there has to be an interpretation process. The swimmer would not have, probably not have the technical skills to, to actually figure out from looking at the video what's good and what's bad and what needs to be changed. And that's where the process has to involve uh, of somebody who knows the physics, somebody who's a coach, and then somebody that actually does the swimming. For, a, for an academic scientist, it's an opportunity to, 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 to go into, into a community, into a world that you would never ordinarily get to, to, to be part of. Um, so the numbers on the left, on the, on the y-axis, the vertical axis, is the force that the swimmer generates in pounds, right? And so that goes from, in this case, it goes from zero to 100 pounds, right? The x-axis, or the horizontal axis across the bottom, is the time axis, right? And what you're looking at is basically two seconds uh, on the, this, this, this big long red, or this thick red trace is a time trace of the force generated by the swimmer, as in this case she's kicking. This is really an application to the basic science. You know, what, what I've been doing is, is bio-related flows all the way from the cellular level up to, uh, you know, arterial flows. We've been doing flows of, uh, uh, of interest to the U.S. Navy. Uh, and, and so it's, it's, it's building up uh, years of, of, of sort of fundamental science base that we can now apply it to, to something like, like human swimming. 